What's up guys, it's Jude here and you're welcome to Smartwatch Series. In this video, we're going to be talking about using Spotify and of course, all the features it has got to offer. So guys, uh, the first thing you need to do as far as using Spotify and Glass Watch 4 is to download the app, okay? I have the app already downloaded to the Glass Watch 4 here, so I'm going to swipe up and um, I will go to the Google Play Store up here okay and uh we we'll go to uh essential watch apps and um you can see that i have spotify already installed okay if you don't have this installed just go ahead and install it okay so i'll tap on open to go to the app now when you open this app for the first time it tells you that you need to pair with your phone okay so i'll just go ahead and tap on pair once you have connected the spotify app to your phone you it will bring you to this particular interface as you can see here this was a track i was playing before now okay and looking at this interface it is a very simple one you can use this to go to a previous track you can use this to go to the next track you can use this to like any track of your choice and you can use this to play via the watch or right away on your phone. Uh, what you should know is that if you want to play track on this watch, you must connect a Bluetooth headphone. The Galaxy Watch 4 is designed to play tracks via a Bluetooth headphone and that is quite understandable. For you to enjoy tracks on the Galaxy Watch 4, you must have a Bluetooth headphone connected. However, if you want to play music via the loudspeaker, there's a little trick to that. What you need to do is to disconnect the Bluetooth headphone as fast as you can, and this will play via the loudspeaker, okay? Now let's go to the other interface. This is the main interface. Okay, this is the main interface of the Spotify app here, and as you can see, it's showing my downloads. Um, what you should know is that with the Spotify app on the Galaxy Watch 4, you can stream music wirelessly for free, okay? Um, this is the Bluetooth version of the Glass Watch 4. I have Wi-Fi already connected, so I'm able to stream music for free, all right? Whether my phone is nearby or not, all right? But if you intend to listen to music offline with a Spotify app, then you will need a premium account. Okay, so I have a premium account. That is why you're seeing um, downloads here. So when you go to my downloads, you can see all the tracks that I have here. These are two different playlists. The Bomb Bon Off has 11 songs and this one has 12 tracks, okay? When I tap on any of these, I can play these tracks right away, okay? So I'll just go back to the main um, interface here and you can see my library. When you go to my library here, you can see um, uh, playlist here. This is my playlist. Okay, I, my like songs, um, bump enough, and so on and so forth. Okay, and you can see podcasts. If you want podcasts to show up here, you need to discover them first on your phone, and they will show up on the Galaxy Watch 4. If you go to album, you need to discover album on your phone, and it will also show up on the Galaxy Watch 4. Okay, and further down, you can see recommendations. If you want to download any of this, if you have a premium Spotify account, of course, you will need to tap on this. You tap on this here and you scroll to scroll down a little bit here. I will just tap on download here. And this will start downloading this particular um, recommendation to the Galaxy Watch 4. And mind you, this is downloading via the connected Wi-Fi on the Galaxy Watch 4. So I don't have data enabled on my phone so this is downloading independent of my phone and i think that's a very good one you can download trust right away if you have wi-fi connected whether you're using the bluetooth version of the galaxy watch 4 or you are using the lte model of the galaxy watch 4. so this track is downloading so i'll just go back and when you scroll down to the bottom here you can see um settings here if you go to the settings tab here okay to toggle this on okay this will allow the Galaxy Watch 4 to download tracks right away. So I'll just go back and um, to connect um, headphones. Okay, you can do this from the settings app on the watch. I have Bluetooth already. I have a Bluetooth headphone already connected to the Galaxy Watch 4. So I'll just go back. Okay, and if you want to log out, just tap on this, and this will log you out from the Spotify app. So guys, let's listen to track on the Galaxy Watch 4. To listen to tracks, I'll just go to my downloads here. 
and I'll tap on this one here. Yeah. And if you tap on play, it's going to take me to this interface, um, prompting me to connect a Bluetooth headphone. So I'm going to connect my Bluetooth headphone. Okay. All right, guys, uh, my headphone is connected to the Galaxy Watch 4. So if I tap on this again, to start playing this track right away. Oh, it's an awesome experience. Mm -hmm. So guys, that's about listening to tracks. Now let me try to disconnect this and see if it's gonna play via the loudspeaker. It's a trick that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. So I'll just do that as quick as possible. Oh, tracks are stopped. If this didn't work, but it, this is how you can play via the loudspeaker. You have to do that very, very, very fast, okay? That is about playing tracks on the Spotify app. So a recap, guys, you can stream tracks, stream music tracks right away on the Spotify app for free, okay, without having a premium account. But if you wish to listen to music offline, then, of course, you must have a premium Spotify account. This will allow you to download tracks to the Galaxy Watch 4, which you can listen offline. So, guys, that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.